Jeez. Sorry, Clyde. Hi. That's right, eh? Yeah, like we're not Okay, it's uh, let's see, that's that's pretty pretty spot on. Uh, but I think in a nutshell, the biggest impact underperforming data storage um, can have on an AI innovation is really coming down to two things. One is uh, capacity and performance. When it comes to AI, the more data you have, the more effective your AI algorithms will be. Without data, there would be no AI. So having fast data, lots and lots of capacity, so that that algorithm can take advantage is, is really what it's all about. I guess the biggest shift is in, I was, gonna, I was trying to count the number of words, Hard disk drives to solid state drives, that will be the biggest shift. I think AI is, it's almost like the canary in the coal mine that is the modern workload, the modern application that is exposing the limitations of HDDs limitations in terms of performance, limitations in terms of scalability, uh, limitations in terms of really inhibiting infrastructure uh, efficiency when it comes to space efficiency, power efficient performance, uh, and just the inability to keep pace with the high I.O. requirements of GPUs. Uh, and the space e these efi infrastructure efficiency challenges that I said AI is kind of serving as the, the canary in the coal mine, they apply to other workloads as well. High performance computing, big data analytics, but again, we kind of see AI leading the charge there. Faster data access is, as you know, is key to SSD advantage. Think about an HDD sick time where there is a head that is moving around. Uh, in terms of latency, it's around four milliseconds on average case, right? Where the SSD latency will be much, much lower, like in micro second range. Um, also, the need for parallelism and scalability as these, you know, data. Uh, footprints are large, there are different cluster of GPUs working on them, so there is parallelism needed. Uh, there is effects like I.O. blending happening, uh, different pipelines ha happening on the storage at uh, different stages of the pipeline, putting some demand on the storage at the same time, that is parallelism, that is scalability. Um, as you're doing that, you want to do it in a more energy efficient way because there's a lot of bomb in the system that is consuming a lot of energy. So the more you can um, optimize your storage, the better for the overall energy efficiency. Uh, the sheer amount of power that it takes to run a hard disk drive array with a bunch of drives that spin, with lasers that move back and forth on a little head over the drive, um, is very expensive power-wise, and that's power that you're not giving to your graphics processing unit, uh, that you're giving to your hard drives when your you know, total power capacity inside of a data center is gonna be limited.
when you really factor in like the energy cost benefits of running the SSD. SSD is more reliable, so that's going to reduce your maintenance cost. You can get more in, in the same space, so that's going to further improve your, your maintenance and service cost. But when you really consider the locality challenges, uh, at these edge nodes, uh, those benefits, I think, become even more acute when you consider how far flung these edge deployments can be and the added cost to get service personnel out to them. When it's, you know, if you think about the evolution of AI, um, I think in the future, I'm envisioning a world where uh, everybody have access to AI. We really democratize AI. And it is everything, everywhere, all at once. For that, you really have to be able to have that uh, capability of mobility, right? So hardest drive simply is not, we cannot do that. And, you know, flash-based uh, storage is the only option there.